Okay, this is why you never, ever return everything to the front end of your application. So if you're designing an API, if you are fetching data from the front end, from the front end to the back end, you're fetching that information, do not return all of the data. You don't wanna go, so if you're doing a SQL query, right, star, select star, which is all. Yeah, you do not wanna do that really bad. So I'm gonna show you really terrible API design. You wanna return the actual elements that are going to be displayed on the page. If you return everything, then someone can access that information. Like, so we will see an example. So. Angie's list, angie.com, they expose, so they, this is Angie's list, it's like Thumbtack, except old school, they were around and big in the 90s, I think, so you can find contractors for all these different things, all these like blue collar things for your house, lawn mowing, whatever, whatever, whatever. So they, the developers over there, nice job guys. Uh, and the reason I'm doing this video is it comes from a tweet from Ryan Culp and he found that Angie's list just gives you the contact information for every one of their contractors. So nice. So they give you the phone number and email for every single one of their contractors. So we are gonna scrape it. We're gonna scrape all the freaking contacts, all the um, contractors in Angie's list. So funny. And what I love about Next.js applications is they're so easy to expose and to get. So all of the data, if you have never built a Next.js application, um, you're uh, server-side rendered, but Next is like, I don't know, so stupid, I feel like. Like, this information, right, is not displayed necessarily in the page. So server-rendered, you think, oh, okay, everything that's going to be displayed is just gonna be in the HTML, no problem, you know? So this stuff is gonna be displayed, whatever. This stuff is going to be displayed. No problem. A better example here. But what Next does is they actually include all of the information that you fetch in this Next Data tag, and that's in a script tag that eventually gets put on the window, which I don't know if many people know. But you can just find everything, anything that you fetched, um, whether or not you intended, whether or not you are displaying it, it's going to be exposed in this script tag. So all you have to do is yeah, type in next data, see what's on that uh, window object, and you can find everything Yeah, that's on the window. So in this case, we're gonna be looking for props, page props, I can't remember exactly where it is. Oh yeah, leaf right here. So this is the ID for the business, yeah, gallery, reviews. I mean, you, you have everything here. And then SP contact info, address and then wabam email twilio phone number website name yeah email primary phone number and twilio phone number <laughs> angie's list what are you doing dog so all we have to do so they are doing they list all of their categories all of their states and all of their cities and then subsequently like all of their um contractors for SEO purposes. So if someone Googles one of these things, then they'll pop, they'll all pop up. But thankfully for us, we can also scrape that to get, yeah, all of the contractors, at least that they have categories here of, uh, on Angie's list. So everything starts with angie.com slash company list. So they have all these categories here and those categories then go into states. Yeah, states, which go into cities, so they have all cities, and then that's where you can find all of the contractors. So I'll show you how to do that. So company list. So we wanna get all of these categories. So 
we're going to find where this is in next data. And then all we have to do is just follow where yeah, the other companies are. So category list right here. So this is what we need. And then that'll link us to all of the uh, companies. So, and we, we don't even need to do to like get cookies or anything. All we do is just fetch that H that, uh, that URL. And then you get the HTML, which is res.data for Axios, load in Cheerio to parse everything, and then get the next data script tag. And then for the company for the category list, then you're going to go copy property path. And then, yeah, you just return like uh, JSON parse and then this stuff. I already um, did that here. So, but yeah, every, everything's the same. So all you have to do is just get the script tag, parse it, and then key into the thing that you need. So, what is the next thing that we need? State category links. So all we're going to do is just follow this. So we're, we're having air duct removal, and then we want all of the states, states right there. So all you do is next data. Yeah, props, page props. I think I don't think it's initial state. I think it's response. And then we have state categories, top states. State categories, yeah, I think that's it. So all we do is just copy property path and we are gonna key into that. And right there. So then we have all of the category, right? So you just, it's the same thing every single time. Axios, get it. And then parse, find the next data script tag and then key into what you want. Then we are gonna go, so here's Alabama. And we want to look for or get all of the cities. So next data, props, page props, I think response, all cities. Literally, that's what it's called. So you're going to do the same exact thing every single time. And then to get the city directory. So we're going to click on Birmingham. And... Or I think I already got... We want directory here. Why are we looking at directory? Oh, because that is, I think this is the last one. So next data. We have props. Da, 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 page props, API response, and then directory. What is the difference between local directory? So local directory they don't expose it, but then in directory, oh, do, 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 do. Okay, whoops, forgot. So we wanna get all of the individual companies. Uh, so we're getting each of their URLs. Oops, yeah, so we're gonna get each one of their URLs. So in this case, yeah, this company, which we're just gonna click on one. Do, 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 so that gets you all of the companies in that uh, state, uh, whatever. So this is gonna get you this company page. So you just need to find the company pages. Yeah, which is going to give you that. And as we can see here, let me just do this again. Next data. So we want props, page props, API response, and we want, yeah, directory. So this gives you all of the companies. And you know what? I'm just going to do this. Uh, let's see. Copy. Golly. String contents. So we're going to go Angie.com. Boom. So then if we want to get the contact information, this is so funny. Show phone number. Like usually this does actually obfuscate it, but it's like the developers didn't know what they were doing. They saw this on other websites and they're like, oh, we, yeah, we should just like only expose it when someone clicks on the button, but they didn't realize like it's all exposed here. Hilarious, hilarious how stupid these guys were. So next data, page props, and then Leaf has all of the information right here. So we have reviews and then SP contact info has all of the contact info you need, baby, email, everything. So that's how you loop through every category 
every state and then city and then get the directory from the city and then loop over all those and then get all of the company contact details. So that's it. Hopefully uh, Angie's list, or maybe not hopefully, they uh, fix that. If they don't, then you can get a bunch like amazing for, for leads. I'm scraping it right now. So we'll see how it goes, see how long it lasts. And if you need anything else scraped, hit me up um, at, let's see. So my current website is countypropertydata.com. I think I'm gonna change that, but uh, you can book a call with me there if you want, want anything scraped. All right, thanks.